Hey, it's Friday, and I have had a good day. It's been a busy day, but I'm going to tell y'all, I made a terrible, terrible mistake today. I got up, and I had a little bit of business I had to go to attend to, and so I, I don't know, I have two poodles. One is blind and deaf, and is like as old as Methuselah, and I have another who is very sensitive to socialization. She dislikes all socialization. And so, with all of that said, um, I decided that I was going to put them in the backyard today while I went and did my errands. Because when the one that need the one that has the social issues, when she gets mad at me, she likes to let me know she's mad at me by using the restroom on my floor. And I don't like that. And the other poodle, the blind one, she she's similar. Now, sometimes she'll use the bathroom just because she um, she's just mad. And sometimes she'll use it because she got to go and... I didn't know she had to go. But in my backyard, I have a fountain. Of, I have a water feature. It, it's pretty. I, I came home. I was gone about an hour. I came home and I heard the most awful whimpering and whining. And I said, well, Lord, I guess Chelsea or or Clara, Chelsea is the Dotson. She's she doesn't have any developed mental disorder. She just is hyper. And I said, Lord, they must be ready to come in. So I opened the back door and let them in, and I heard that noise on and on. Y'all, I walked out in that backyard, and the blind poodle had fallen over into the fountain. Now it wasn't enough to drown her unless she laid in it or something of that nature, but because she's blind. She couldn't figure out how to get out of it. She was standing in that water. I know she had to be cold. I said, Lord Jesus, I'm going to get the dog pneumonia. So I got her out very quickly. And oh, she huffed and puffed and grunted and moaned and made every racket she could make. And she, uh, I, um, I got the, I came in and got a towel and dried her off real good and held her and babied her and. She's in her bed in there now. I'm going to bathe her here in a little bit to get just the, you know, any kind of just funk stink that might be on her off. But I tell you, she was not a happy dog at all. I She'll be mad at me for three days and four nights before she gets happy again. And I said, Lord, help us, Jesus. I'm going to kill the poor dog. Um... I tell you, I'm liking this cooler weather. I'm hoping it'll save on my power bill. Y'all know how upset I can get over a power bill. I do not like a high power bill. So I'm hoping this month's power bill will be significantly cheaper than it was. Um, although they say it's supposed to get up, but get to like 80 or 83 tomorrow, but... Um, I tell y'all, I hear Chainsaw in the background. He been cutting down trees for 14 nights and 300 days. Just making all kind of racket here in the neighborhood. But I tell you what, it's a spot. Of, it's a strip of land right back here on the, on the corner of my house that I wish somebody would get to, um, would, would get a chainsaw a hotel. Yes, indeed. Praise the Lord. And I said, uh, yes, hallelujah. But anyway... I hope y'all having yourself a good day. I, I ain't going to ramble too much today. I gave y'all a good a good mouthful yesterday. But y'all tell me how y'all doing sometime. Tell everybody that I, I love them. And I, I'll see you about y'all directly, okay? Bye.